this is what we got, guys. Uh, those coffin keys that I was going to make out of those handles, I found something that looks a little better, looks a little more rusty, so I'm going to use these. What I got. These right here. So I'm gonna, I gotta cut these off. And I'm gonna try well to screw to these. And these look more Victorian, medieval style. That'll look good in that coffin. Once I get them done, I'll paint them up. So uh, let's cut these. So that's why it's hard for me to throw anything away because I always find a use for it somewhere along down the line. Uh, I hate throwing too much junk stuff like it away, especially metal and pieces and parts. And You never know where you can use it at, but we're going to clean these ends up, then we're going to try to weld the uh, screw top.
Okay, guys. Uh, I only need nine of these, but I went ahead and did ten. So uh, now we're going to try to weld a screw on top of these. As you remember, I was going to use these as a coffin keys, which would have worked, and it looks pretty decent. But these look even better. And I'll take and I'll paint these up when I get them done. So uh, let's get the welder set up and see if we can't weld some screws on these, and then I'll show you after after we get them done. So that's kind of what I'm going after. You don't have to be perfect as you can see it's off centered. But once it goes in uh, the wood you're not going to see it so well, we'll see how that works. So guys, when I weld this on there, and I'm not using my hood, as soon as I touch that sucker, my eyes are closed. Because if not, you're going to burn your eyes out. And uh, then things will burn and feel like you got sand and everything else in your eyes. So but don't watch it, that flash from that welder.
old uh, handles I made a while back. They're made out of railroad screws or bolts to hold the tracks together in a piece of flat metal. Uh, it's going to make those for door handles. I never did finish them, so I made two. But I never did. I never did finish them. Probably two or three pound piece. So this is what I got done. I got ten. I only needed nine, so uh, this will go down and then screw the lid on. Hopefully, uh, like I said, I will take and uh, I will grind that up a little bit, make it look a little more uniform. See, they're not perfect, but, uh, but they will work, I think, I hope so. And if not, we'll, we'll change it up and we'll do something else. So, if my first idea would have worked, I would have never found this idea. And that's how you learn. Just don't throw nothing away. Oh, uh, well, it didn't be called a hoarder. But uh, some of the stuff that is thrown away, you can use. And I hate to see junk that people can use or I could use throw it away and uh, you can make stuff with it, you can build stuff with it. Uh, it might not be today or tomorrow but down the line you never know so food for thought don't always throw your especially your metal if you do any kind of weld fabrication or anything like that don't throw none of that stuff away uh, unless you're getting plenty of more which I don't I try to utilize junk as much as possible so this is going to conclude the coffin key screw build. Um, I know I said uh, the, on number three was my last one, but uh, like I said, if it doesn't work on the coffin keys I did the first time, I'm going to redo something else, and I did. So here's what we come up with. So I'm going to paint these, and then we'll uh, give you an update on what the coffin looks like with these in the coffin. So we'll see you in a bit. So here we are guys, uh, we're back at my garage, this is the very day home project I got to, it's a total freaking disaster, uh, I've got too many projects going on, but anyway, here we are, we're going to take this and we're going to uh, grind these down, make them a little, dress them up a little bit, make them rear down while I'm making these suckers, so let's but do that and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, there's what it is. That's what I made it for. You can see it without a black. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna paint all these black to match. This makes it look a little more medieval or, or Victorian air somewhat, but uh, I think I like that look. So it looks better than what I planned. So uh, let's get these painted. So what I'm using just black lacquer paint. <laughs> 